Yo, what is up guys? This is Brickdo here. And today I thought we'd do sort of a rumor, rumor mill video on the Medieval Blacksmith set that is supposed to be releasing early this year. And if you guys don't know, this is a Lego idea set that was part of the first uh, wave in 2019. It got its approval uh, this past February. And since then, we've just been waiting on the upcoming release of it. And along with this set, uh, the Winnie the Pooh set was also uh, approved in, uh, in coming out. So this one is suspected to be the first one. Rumor is it's going to be coming out in February this year. And there's a few interesting points to talk about this, I think. First of all, the set is rumored to be between $100 and $180. However, the fan model, the final creation, was around 3,000 pieces, which I think is a bit interesting. That is a huge cut down, I would say, from what we usually see. What do you think about that, K-Bricks? Yeah, obviously, I think we're going to get a much trimmed down model than the one we see, uh, the fan model. I really wish that we just went ahead and got maybe a $250, just straight up 3,000 piece, same as the fan model build. But I don't think it's looking like that. Um, just looking at the fan model, I have to imagine that the actual build will be more of a modular style, whether it be an interior. Um, obviously, this fan model does have an interior too, but I wouldn't expect to see the actual model maybe have a complete front and back. You know, it might be more similar to something like the recent Sesame Street that came up where it has an open back but still has an interior, you know, just to cut down on that price. Also similar to the Sesame Street, like we saw too, the fan model also had a lot more pieces, was a full front back all covered up you know and you could open it up and then the actual model we got certainly looked good but was definitely trimmed down a little bit by you know not having any back wall and kind of having that open dollhouse playset type of vibe yeah it's very interesting usually i think they try to make it closest to the fan model as possible with obviously sort of maybe making it more structurally sound i would say um and one thing that i thought of is they've released quite a few expensive idea sets uh notably i think one that surprised me was the grand piano yeah this past summer i mean 350 dollars for a piano i mean it seems a bit crazy potentially maybe that didn't sell well as uh, as well as i expected it to uh, maybe these higher priced idea sets aren't going off the shelves as much as they would like to and like we said you know they've released a lot more idea sets recently so maybe the people are just sort of getting bogged down with some of these more expensive releases and people are looking for maybe that $100 range, I would say, for an idea set. Certainly. I, I know personally, too, I'd say the sets that are around that $100, $120 range, which we've seen, at least as far as the idea sets, I'm much more likely to pick them up than maybe the grand piano. You know, if a set's $300, I'm going to have to really, really want it to be able to pick it up. Or $100, in my opinion, is a little bit more justifiable. Now, something else I wanted to talk about, too, is, you know, what kind of minifigures are, are we going to see in this set? Obviously, some of the past LEGO themes, such as... Lego Kingdoms, extremely, extremely popular now. Um, if, even if you look at the old medieval market village, just an amazing set that came out in 2009 with about 1,600 pieces. This one had a lots of minifigures too. Uh, you know, this set only retailed for $100 too, so I wouldn't expect to see that good of a deal as we see uh, as this new set, but this is just an awesome set. Market village back in the day, I remember it being a set that I wanted. I remember it being on sale for $70 for quite a while, which is a fantastic deal. But more so, I just like sort of that theming. It reminded me of the Viking theme, but not necessarily like the attacking of it, more so just sort of that time period, sort of that lifestyle. And I think um, potentially it could have more pieces than I think we might be expecting, again, with that $100 to $180. With it not being, you know, an IP theme or anything like that, they might be able to give us a bit more value uh, in, that, in that situation. But again, I, we don't expect it to be anywhere near the 3,000 pieces, which, which is very surprising. I would guess... Hopefully, I'm hoping for around 2,000, something close to like a modular, I would say, um, in number of pieces or on the smaller side of a modular, I, sh I should say. Yeah, I agree with that. I'd expect this to have smaller pieces too. So I could definitely see this set having, you know, well over 2,000 pieces. You know, something that I also wanted to say is that, you know, obviously the last time we've seen, you know, Lego Castle theme was 2016. You know, those sets came in that, those yellow boxes and those sets have just absolutely skyrocketed in value. And those are sets only from 2016 kind of a short run sort of wave and theme as it ended in 2016. So this begs the question, are we going to see Lego Castle or maybe even like a Lego Kingdoms line return? I think it's definitely a possibility. Definitely a possibility. And I think they've been trying recently to sort of move into, I would say, a more modernized, I would say, uh, children themes rather than sort of the traditional castle um, sort of historical eras. And I think they've done, they've kind of tried those and I think they haven't done as well as maybe they thought. And I think there's always that need for sort of that nostalgic, I would say, castle theme. Because I, I think, A, I think adults um, 
our age now, you know, maybe in their 20s, one of these sets uh, as kids yeah. and maybe are looking for a re-release or a new set to potentially uh, build and sort of get some of that nostalgia back. But again, I think it is is a good I ideas theme. Um, I think it's going to be a great set. And one other small, I think, caveat to this is obviously I did mention we're going to be getting a Winnie the Pooh, Pooh set based on the approved sets in that wave. I guess I know rumors are really pointing to this, but there's always the possibility that it could be the Winnie the Pooh set coming out this right. February. Um, personally, I'm looking forward to see what they do with the minifigures for that set more so than anything right. um, rather than build. But obviously that's a possibility. We need to have that out there as well. Yeah, the rumor mill was definitely that the Winnie the Pooh set is supposed to drop quarter one of 2021. Although now the rumors are more going toward this, um, the medieval blacksmith set. So, you know, maybe there was a delay issue or something like that in the Winnie the Pooh set. Obviously, that one got accepted later too. So it would make sense to see the blacksmith set first too. So there's that. It's always been sort of a weird, it's when multiple sets get approved in a wave. It's always interesting. I, at least I would be interested to hear you know, what makes them decide one set to come out before the other. Not that it matters a whole lot. And then one other thing too, you know, we've been talking a lot of, a lot about inventory issues. When this set comes out in February, will this set be flying out the shelves? Will it be hard to pick up? Really unknown. Hopefully, you know, it's a little bit better. But I do think it will be pretty popular day one, uh, just based on, I would say, the recent surge of um, desirability of Lego supply issues and sort of um, just perceived scarcity from a lot of people. Um, and it'll be interesting to see how that sort of plays out with a new release, a new big release like this set. Yeah, I agree, guys. Hey, thanks for watching. This is the Brick Duo signing out.